Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. Um, I think it's been like two weeks since I posted a video. That's because I moved. I'm in a new apartment. So it was kind of a crazy hassle. I did not do any reading. I did not do any filming. But now that I'm in my new place, I'm going to be filming a lot more and hopefully reading more. We shall see. So today I'm going to organize the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes of books that I have and organize them on my bookshelf. And I thought I would show you guys, um, I thought I would show you guys um, the putting away of the books. So come on along. Come organize my bookshelves with me. Rude. So come organize my bookshelves with me. It'll be fun. If I put away any of these series in the wrong order, please let me know. I'm trying to be quick, but I'm also trying to be accurate. So I'm like, Cause, can, does anyone remember the Wheel of Time order just off the top of their heads? I mean, Daniel Green probably does, but like for the rest of us, I'm sure there will, you're so far away. I'm sure there will be more mass market paperbacks to be found. But mass market paperback shelf, right? That's cute because it's a smaller shelf. They're smaller books. Can you stop doing construction? So rude. Finish my bagel. Let's go. Starting up here, we have my Cassandra Clare books, the um, Mortal Instruments series. I read these in high school and really loved them. Um, haven't read them since, haven't read any of the other ones by her. She's a few other series in this world. But um, I mean, if they're really good, let me know. But I don't know if I'm really into that vibe anymore. 
Here's a little picture of my parents. Their wedding photo actually gets used when you buy frames. They just keep my parents' picture in them. So we've got a lot of frames of them because they're pretty. Got my Lord of the Rings Tolkien set. We've got Unfinished Tales, The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, The Return of the King, The Two Towers, The Fellowship of the Ring, Baron and Luthien, and The Fall of Gondolin. Then we have Th Theft of Swords, Rise of Empire, and Heir of Navarone by Michael J. Sullivan. I love the Reveria Revelations. Uh, this is such a good series, highly recommend. Then we have the Shadow and Bone series by Lee Bardugo. I also read um, Six of Crows, but I don't have a copy of that. Don't know why. Here we have the first three books in the Dune series by Frank Herbert. Love this series. Cannot wait for the movie to come out. The Lies of Loch Lomora, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Love that series. Again, another wonderful fantasy series. Speaking of fantasy series, we have A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. I think that's the right order. I kind of just threw it up and didn't check, but <laughs> I think it is. Then we have the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, at least the first six books. I've read the first five. I need to read Lord of Chaos. Soon we have The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, the Fires of Heaven, and Lord of Chaos. Then we have the first two books in the Gunslinger series, not the Gunslinger series, the, um, the Dark Tower series, The Gunslinger and The Drawing of Three by Stephen King. Then we have the first book in the Earthsea Cycle by Pamela K. Le Guin. Ursula, it's Ursula, Ursula. Why do I always wanna call her Pamela? That's silly. Then we have A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, and The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. Those are the three books in the All Souls trilogy. I've got the three books of the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, and The Stone Sky. Then we have the Harry Potter series by some random individual who won't be named on this channel. Then we have The Sparrow Sisters by Ellen Herrick. Ellen Herrick, Anansi Boys by Neil Gaiman, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study by Maria V. Snyder. I love this series. Then we have The Wise Man's Fear and The Name of the Wind. Those should be switched. The Name of the Wind. <laughs> And The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. There we go. And then Graceling by Kristen Kishore. We've got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and The Mind Mortar, also by Samantha Shannon. That are the first two books in a series that has, I think, three or four books out now. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, my favorite book of all time. Obsessed. And then we have... The Starless Sea, also by Erin Morgenstern. Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. I loved this book. Loved this book. Very fairy tale. Just gorgeous. Artemis by Andy Weir. Wasn't as good as The Martian. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Have not read this yet because as much as I love The Handmaid's Tale, it just really takes it out of me. First two books in the prequel series novelizations. From Star Wars. By t one, first one's by Terry Brooks, second one by R.A. Salvatore. Third one, I have, I have them all in paperback, so we'll see that later. Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Piranesi by Susanna Clark. Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. Love. Haven't read this one, but love this whole, you know, series cycle thing. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, The Night Swim by Megan Goldsman, In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, Firefly Big Damn Hero by James Lovegrove, The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden, and The Annotated Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Peckman. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, one of my favorites of all time. 
uh, Eight Perfect Murders by Patrick Swanson. It was fine. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte in this gorgeous edition. Look at it. Look at the gold leaf. It's so pretty. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Gollum and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. The Bone Thief by Marcus Zusak. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Neverwhere, but I should put these next to each other. Neverwhere next to American Gods. So we got a little bit of a Neil Gaiman thing going. I don't know why I didn't put all his books together, but I kind of did more for the aesthetics than by any actual organizational methods. Um, the Light Between o Oceans. The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. Uh, Women Racing Class by Angela Davis. The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Uh, the Secret History by Donna Tartt, Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, Supermarket by, God, what is your name? Uh, Bobby Hall, AKA Logic, War in an Irish Town by Eamon McCann, The Secret of the Irish Castle by Santa Montefiore, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, The High Tide Club by Mary Kay Andrews, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Frankenstein from the one and only Mary Shelley. On Folly Beach by Karen White. Uh, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. And The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. Down here we have The World of Ice and Fire by George R.R. R. Martin. The Tudor Chronicles by Susan Doran. The Borgia Chronicles by Mary Hollingsworth, The TB12 Method by Tom Brady, Eat Smart by Naomi Smart, Humans of New York by Brandon Stanton, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, <laughs> How Not to Die by Michael Greger, Becoming by Michelle Obama, Bella Chicken Brady by Michael Hawley, Lessons by Giselle Bundchen, A Life Worth Breathing, uh, what else we got? A Tale of Two Cities, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, Say Nothing, A True Story of Murder and Memory in Northern Ireland by Patrick Ridden Keefe, The Alzheimer's Solution by Dean and Aisha Scherze, uh, Russia, A Short History by Abraham Asher, and then some Marvel and DC, mostly Marvel, but we got some Wonder Woman in here, don't worry. We've got some witchy tarot books that I won't go into. The Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer, The Unneeded by Virgil, more witchy tarot stuff, complete works of Jane Austen, A Treasury of Irish Fairy and Folk Tales, and the complete works of William Shakespeare. We have Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett, The Assassin's Curse and the Pirate's Wish by Cassandra Rose Clark, The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, Stormfront by Jim Butcher, Eaters of the Dead by Michael Crichton, Dark of the Moon by John Sanford, Mythology by Edith Hamilton, Feet of Clay, Equal Rights, and Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, my favorite classic, Zodiac and Zodiac Unmasked by Robert Graysmith, The Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule, uh, again, the Star Wars prequel novelizations, Episode 1 by Terry Brooks, Episode 2 by Ari Salvatore, and Revenge of the Sith by Matthew Stover. Then we have a very out of order um, Salem mystery. What are this? A witch city mystery. This series is a super cute, cozy mystery set in Salem, Massachusetts. Now, I've mentioned before that I live in New York City and I have since I was like 18, but I did grow up in Massachusetts and so I grew up going to Salem all the time. So I love Salem. It has a special place in my heart and these cozy mysteries are just so cozy and comforting and wonderful and I like this one set in Salem so it feels extra homey and cozy. Oh, I have It Takes a Coven, Bells, Spells, and Murders, Tales You Lose, Caught Dead Handed. I think that's the first one. I think that's the first one. Late Checkout, Final Exam, Grave Errors, Look Both Ways, and Murder Grow Round by Carol J. Perry. This is going to be my Brandon Sanderson shelf once I have all of my books out of storage. This is more just random stuff in the way. But I have the Mistborn series, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. I have Elantris and Warbreaker. I have uh, Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson. 
Legion, The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and Oathbringer. And of course I will have the rest of his up eventually. Then I just threw these two on the side because they're white and they kind of went with the aesthetic. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert and A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Then we have The Witcher series by Andre, Sp oh, I can never say his name, Andre S Sapkowski. We've got The Last Wish, Sword of Destiny, Blood of Elves, The Time of Content, Baptism of Fire, The Tower of Swallows, Lady of the Lake, and Season of Storms. Then we have one of my favorite authors of all time, Sarah Addison Allen. Her magical realism books are my absolute favorites. I have Garden Spell, First Frost, The Peach Keeper, Lost Lake, and I guess that's all I have here. I thought I had more of hers. I've definitely read more of hers, but I guess I need to buy them. Another magical realism is When Autumn Leaves by Amy Foster. Then we get into Alice Hoffman, Practical Magic and the Rules of Magic. Season of Dragonflies by Sarah Creech. My Girls by Todd Fisher. My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyen Khan Braithwaite. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, one of my favorite books of all time. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Washington Black by Eziad Yugen, Haruki Murakami is what I talk about when I talk about running, Normal People and Conversations with Friends, both by Sally Rooney, Severance by Ling Ma, Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen, The Milkman by Anna Burns, which is also one of my favorites, Soulless by Gail Kerrigan, The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, and Akin by Emma Donahue. I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai, Where the Crawdad Dad Sings by Delia Owens, SPQR by Mary Beard, the Flight Attendant by Chris Bajalian. My bad, I should have looked that up. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. The Life and Death of Anne Boleyn by Eric Ives. Wizard's First Rule by Terry Goodkind. Ghost at a Watchman by Harthur, Harper Lee. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Women Talking by Miriam Towns. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Wolf Hall by Hilary Mandel, The Borgias by G.J. Miller, Elizabeth of York by Allison Weir, The Hollow Crown by Dan Jones, Elizabeth's Women by Tracy Borman, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Withering Heights Again, Circe by Madeline Miller, The, Women, the Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, that's my newest edition, and another uh, Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. The Razor's Edge, Alone on the Wall, The Power of Now, Our Monster Calls, uh, The Shadow of the Wind, Little Women by Louise May Alcott. Uh, what do we got? Please Kill Me, Stranger in the Woods, that was a good one. Um, yeah, these are just various ones. You can tell I'm running out of steam because I'm just like, yeah, and then those ones at the bottom you can read for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, so that is the end of my Organize My Bookshelf With Me slash bookshelf tour for now. I'm sure things are going to move around. Basically, every time I pick up a book off the bookshelf, I'm sure I'm going to reorganize them, and I will keep you guys up to date on that. But now I have to break down all of those boxes, bring them to recycling, and unpack the rest of my apartment um, that I promise I will be putting videos back up more frequently now that I am not moving and now that I have the time and the space to make videos. So let me know if there's any videos you wanna see down below. Um, thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing, which hopefully you are. Um, love you guys and I will see you in my next one.